Hello, this is James. Welcome to this tutorial on the energy continuum. So I'm making an assumption that you've had a good kind of study of the energy systems already. Again, if you haven't, go and have a look at those. It's important to get a grasp of those before we move on. And, you know, assuming that you have and you understand what the PC system, the lactic acid system and the aerobic system are and what they do, let's crack on with this concept of an energy continuum. And the first thing I want you to be aware of is that the energy continuum describes a relationship. And it describes the relationship between the three systems I just described, between the PC, the lactic acid, and the aerobic system. We need to understand that they don't operate as isolated, unique energy systems, but they overlap and work at the same time and contribute energy in different quantities within the same moment. So that, therefore, is what we describe as a relationship. And therefore, we have a definition, and it is this. And I'll get this in your mind, remember it, write it down, study it, memorize it. It comes up in your exam. You need to write it down exactly like this. So it is the relative contribution. So, of course, relative meaning, you know, how much each system is contributing. The relative contribution of all three energy systems to the resynthesis of ATP. So we already know that three energy systems, their job is to resynthesize ATP. We could add at the same at the end of this at the same time. OK, and I'll show you in a few moments time that they all operate concurrently at the same time. So remembering that we already know that we have something called the PC system, the PC system or the ATP PC system. You can also call it the A-lactacid system. Now, the PC system operates when we have very high intensity, 